the idea of the who, what, when, where, why, how tool. And I remember what that was used for? Who, what, when, where, why? Gathering data. Gathering data, good. So we're on the assessing the situation and we're trying to gather data. And so this is one of those thinking tools that can help us uh, really generate some uh, ideas. So follow the, no, step number one is to follow the principles of divergent thinking. Divergent thinking. What is divergent thinking? What are the principles of divergent thinking? Deferred judgment. Deferred judgment, good. Go for the quantity, good. That's two of them, bingo, bingo. Those are probably the most important ones almost. The other ones are good too, but. Go for this and novelty. Okay, for, go for novelty. What was the thing? Connections, what do we want to do? Make connections. All right, so here they are. From our other slide, defer judgment, go for quantity, make connections, seek knowledge. So that's what we're trying to do during the divergent thinking phase when we're going to do this who, what, when, where, why concept. So here is, oops, here's that who, what, when, where, why. Who is involved? Who is the primary decision maker? Who are all the people affected? What is the history? What is the ideal outcome? What has already been tried? When did it start? When would you like to take action? When would you like to have this resolved? Are there particular times and situations either worse or better? Where is it taking place? Describe the physical, uh, psychological factors that surround the situation. Where has the situation been successfully managed? Where are there situations similar to this? Why, why is it important? Why is this occurring? Why are you or others concerned about the situation? How, how did this happen? How have you handled it in the past? How do you others handle similar situations? How have you already responded? How do others think and feel about it? Okay, so let's really do it this time. So everybody get out of their chairs. Stand over against the wall over here. Where's the thing to do? Do a little boots. What? When? Go ahead, Gavin. Yeah. It doesn't really matter where you 
Diego, but I just thought I'd start off with you guys there. Yeah, you can go to the how. And it, it again does really not go to one of the letters. And then one of you add, so go to Gavin. Bryce, why don't you go to Cameron? And then Cordell to Jake and Carson to Rayleigh. Okay, go for it. Start. How did this happen? How have you handled it in the past? How do others handle it? Go, 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 fast, faster. Think, think, think. Get something down. First thing that comes to your mind. There is no wrong answers. Go, 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 go. <laughs> When did this start? When would you like to take action? Where is this taking place? Why is this important? Why is this occurring? How did this happen? Who's involved? Who's the primary decision maker? Who are the people affected? Go, go, go. It should be pretty short comments, pretty short comments, not long sentences or paragraphs. You can add some multiple words to get your point across. But we're going for quantity. Go, go, connections. Could be anything. First thing that comes to mind. What's the history? What's the ideal outcome? What's already been tried? <coughs> What's the 
ideal outcome. When did this start? When do we want it to end? Where is it taking place? Where are there situations similar to this? Why is this important? Why is it occurring? How did it happen? How have you already responded? There are no wrong answers. Look at the question of what Put something down. Why? Put something down. Don't second guess whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. Just put it down. Put it on paper. Make a connection. Look at something else somebody else has written and put another word down and put it to it. Switch! No one's talking. Go for quantity, make connections, seek novelty. Go for quantity, seek novelty, defer judgment, make connections. Make connections, who, what, when, where, why. There are no wrong answers. Look at something, put your thought down. Go, 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 go. Switch. All right, go. Who, what, when, where, why, how? Why is this important? How did it happen? When did it start? Make connections, defer judgment, seek novelty. Look at something, first thing that comes to mind, write it down, make a connection, seek novelty. All right, finish writing whatever you got left. And step away from the board. Let's all kind of step back so that you can kind of look at all of what we just did. Try to take it all in. <laughs> yeah. Have we gathered some data? Is it a lot? Yes. All right. So that's part of this tool. Now, the last steps here, we kind of did this. Remember deferred judgment. What else? Check your data, scan your data for quantity and variety. Are we satisfied? Does anybody think of something like you got here and like, oh, I should have put this on the what thing? Does anybody have that? Go and put it on the board right now. If you got it, go ahead and put it on, look over what's there. But if you, or even if right now you think of something different, Go put it on the board. You guys are free to, I'm going to give you at least a minute or as long as it takes, but I'll give you at least one minute of us doing nothing for you to read. And if you think of something else, go to the board and write it down. Okay, so now we've got up all of our stuff, and now we want to think about the convergence of some of these ideas. We've got a whole bunch of stuff up there. How do we start to narrow things down? So hits and highlighting are two of those things. So hits uses an, uses an intuitive approach to identify the most pertinent data within a large set, reduces individual data, points to a more manageable number. So review your list of data, mark those items that jump out at you or seem most relevant to the situation. 
and then we'll get into the highlighting, identify the most relevant individual pieces. For highlighting, first identify the hits, second, use only the data that have been selected and group them into categories. So hits and highlighting. So let's all look at this who. I'm going to kind of be uh, moderating the hits here. But as a group, which one of these who's seems the most, there might be redundancy, so now we might start to see ones that have a lot of overlap, or maybe it's almost the same thing. So what up here seems the most relevant as issues? There can be multiple things. It's not like we're picking one thing, though. It's multiple things. Students, okay, definitely. Teachers. That's the dean president or yeah, that's president. businesses. Why businesses? Where did where you say businesses? School buses. So, what was that as far as? I mean, does everybody agree that that's? Oh, yeah. Oh, the buses that you guys use for athletic stuff or whatever? Oh, that they're hogging up the space over there. Oh, I get to Okay. Uh, so we think that's kind of important, or that's an important element of that. Okay. And visitors. Everybody agree visitors is an important part. Okay, let's just let, let that sit for a little bit. Let's go to the what. What are some of the most important takeaways here that niches being important in the what category? More parking spots. So kind of the, the main issue here. Okay. We don't have to be unanimous, but just kind of general consensus that people agree. Yeah. So, okay, so, so it's okay for us now to kind of amend some of the hits. Like that's totally legit during this convergence phase. So it's that affirmative judgment claim, right? So we can kind of enhance or maybe expand. Uh, maybe some of you put like one word things that it wasn't quite, you know, fully there when you had it. So that's totally fine. Okay. Other ones here. Buses. <laughs> Other people think shuttle. I have one person say shuttle buses. How many people shuttle buses think that that's feeling kind of important or? Maybe it's even a little fuzzy, but your gut feeling is that. So good show of hands. I want to see where we're at. Okay. Uh, where are you at? Here. So these two. New parking lots. New parking lots. More parking spots. Probably, yeah. So there could be kind of a connection between those two, we can just do that. Multi-story parking structure, multi, I guess I'm guessing that's whoever wrote that down. Yeah. Multi-story multi parking, does that feel important or at least conceptually? Okay, let's move on to the, this one. The when, what, what's the, <laughs> What's the hot buttons here on the wind? Now, future, future, future. Now, future. You guys just care. You don't care about the next after you graduate. This is not a problem for you anymore. Wednesday. 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 Over the summer. Okay. I was just like, I have a new, I can't really touch the lights and structure. So, so we're just a real, right? Okay. 
two of the three. So we got quickly soon now. I assume these are kind of all something like that, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. The days of the week here that was just maybe just brainstorming, but I don't know if there are specific days of the week that is it more of a problem or something or okay. If it's possible, there's another now. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. So where? Looks like we're demolishing some stuff here. <laughs> oh, there's some suggestions. So buy new land, purchase property. It seemed like that got brought up down there. Um, Last one on the right over here. Over here, purchasing property. And what else were you saying? New, buy new land. I guess that's kind of here, right? Grass, front of Martin, grassland in front of Martin. That kind of goes together here. So that would be like existing land that's grass currently or something. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Buzz on here that's important. Demolishing that mentioned. I don't know if that was just going down. Knock down Martin Park on grass. Okay, this is another this is another grass. <laughs> destroy what? This is destroy all the Oh wow. All right, let's move on to this one. Why? The firing students are going to class. What's that? The firing students are going to class. This one? Yeah. How many people say this one? Okay, we just got a couple supporters, but yeah. not enough here. What else is important on this list? Parking tickets. Is that many people? Show of hands or hands? Tired students, lazy students, disrupting community, small campus. Again, this is just kind of things that are resonating with the kind of the issue. Are ones jumping out at you more than others? Reach max capacity is very well. This one, reach max capacity, feel good for people. Okay. What else? We had freshmen. Why do freshmen have cars? No <laughs> Tired of walking distance, always late to class. Here's another late to class. I have two late to classes. Is that resonate with you? People don't park well. I guess that was brought up. Is that on another one too? Or? So parking well. Show of hands. Is that resonated? Not. Oh yeah, I don't park. Okay, I'm, I'm just yeah, I just wanted I want to get some highlights here. Any other ones that you guys feel important? I don't like walking that far. Walking long distances. People have something about it regarding walking. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Last one here on the house. <laughs> so we've got sponsorship, take, take, take over the church. church. Okay, start running our own ministry over there. Take parking garage. By the way, we do have the church. Um, like the that, front of the way, the part, have you seen it in the corner? That it's actually over there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it's an overflow lot. We have an arrangement with the church, but if that's uh. Okay, which ones resonate with you? I probably shouldn't have even opened my mouth there. But yeah. Too many students. Yeah. Too many students? Yeah. Underground parking or the parking garage? So where, let's see, where was that? Side. Side. This one? Yeah. Is that back to, I guess we kind of highlighted it over there? Construction. A lot of times when they're doing stuff, they have parking spots taken up by construction. Uh, we'll put like four cones in parking spots. <laughs> so the edge of the top is like where they want to the top. This one? Yeah. Construction, raise, shine, and 
Sport. Take out oh, sport games. Last times. <laughs> Make our own parking. Oh, I, I think class times would also be like a good one just because if they like spread classes out over like a longer period of time where it wasn't like a lot of classes at this time and this time, I think that could maybe be helpful. Class times, show of hands. And then this, I guess, like take over church, and that's kind of related to the other ones we had over there a little bit, but the church parking, bigger campus, which is kind of like buying new land, right? So we got some connections here. So so now we can kind of start thinking about ones that are sharing concepts over on the other ones. Make extra parking. Here's the walking. So we talked about the walking. Does this go with this line? Make extra parking available, walking. I'm just wondering if it was two separate things or not. I don't know who wrote it, but. but we talked about the walking over there. Destroy campus, start again. <laughs> Buy around the campus. And another building. Okay. So now, um, uh, you guys can go grab your seats now. All right, so you kind of get the idea of, of what we're doing. And then for the next step, let's see, I'm going to put the next thing here. So here's the highlighting for convergence. Review the principles for convergence. Uh, what are those convergent principles? I had them here. There's the convergent principle that I was trying to get back to. So apply affirmative judgment, keep novelty alive, check your objectives, stay focused. So we don't start talking about new construction because we brought up construction, or you know what I mean, as, as you're going through that. So um, number all the options, not necessarily to use post-it notes. So we're going to do another exercise later where instead of writing it on the board, we'll write it on post-it notes, which is a nice technique. Because now what we can do is like, oh, parking on the grass, this parking on the grass are kind of clustered together of a concept. And that's what the clustering does. So you're going to uh, number all those. Um, if we did it on a spreadsheet, I'm going to take some pictures of what we did after class today. Identify the hits uh, using the procedure already described. Allow people to pick favorites. Cluster the data. So examine only the hits once we start to get them weeded out. So we'll get rid of destroy the campus and start again. We'll start to have it narrowed down so that we can really start to see things better. And then try to get, well, what is this cluster really about? So restate the cluster, restate what the cluster is about with a word or phrase so that it captures what the concept is with that cluster of thoughts. And then that gives us another way to kind of look at the, look at the data. All right, so that was our first big kind of brainstorming exercise. And that's what we mean by divergence, right? Kind of pushing you guys to really think through. Um, we're not just kind of, you know, half, oh I, oh, I wanted to ask when you guys did the survival game, did you guys find yourself inhibited a little bit that you wanted to throw something out? Or did anybody judge somebody maybe accidentally or you were thinking about it? Like, well, it's a survival book or whatever. It's, I mean, remember, it's kind of our nature that you think you might, that you want to kind of judge the idea, right? And so that's what is not allowed in the divergent thinking. And so we can generate a lot more fruitful things by really diverging. All right, we'll see you uh, Thursday.